to all my black entrepreneurs. We got to do better, y'all. So tune in to the Entrepreneurians Podcast, where we help build better black businesses. Another thing I wanted to, I wanted to touch on, because like you you were kind of going in just now, mm. both of y'all, but you, you, you were almost preaching. And when you, something you said just made me think about land and how I look at land. Mm-hmm. To me, land can be looked at or compared to as, or compared to time. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, money has a value. Like, if I pull twenty dollars out of my pocket right now, mm-hmm. it's twenty dollars. Right. But if I buy a piece of land for twenty dollars, mm-hmm. now I can build on that land. I can grow on that land. I can earn on that land. This land has infinite value. Yes. But it cost me one particular amount to buy it mm-hmm. one time. Mm-hmm. And I can gain so much from this. Mm. So I just wanted to make that analogy of land to me is like time, mm-hmm. where if you manage it right, it's an endless value. Right. The value is what you make it. Of course. The value is what you make it. But I just I just wanted to touch on that. So it's interesting you say time was, because I think one of the great things about it is like any human being the most Precious asset that any human being has. It's time. It's time. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's it. Once That's you it. spend it, That's it. it's gone. Yeah. You so, can never get it back. And That's land key analogy, has man. to be Absolutely. up there. Mm-hmm. Sure. Land is up there with time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause you can do so much. Like, not, don't get me wrong. I could do a whole lot with the cash that's on the table. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But I can't change the value of what is there. Mm-hmm. What is there? That is what is worth. Right. <clears throat> There's things that change in value, like land does, mm-hmm. like um, precious commodities, jewels, mm-hmm. watches. I'm learning that bags do this now. Mm-hmm. Birkin yeah, bags. Yeah. I did not know I that. It's crazy. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you talking about crazy. men park money, like a lot of rich men park money in watches. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Females park money in Birkins. Oh, okay. These Birkin bags are extremely expensive and they do not lose value. Right. Yeah. The more rare they are, the better they are. Like mm-hmm. I was telling him, Cardi B, her Birkin bag collection. If she ever went broke from anything, her Birkin bag collection will sustain her and her family for the rest of their lives. Right. It's insane. Oh, yeah. Like it's crazy. Crazy. You want to hear something interesting about how value is created through art? Oh, I'm starting to get into that, but please, <laughs> yeah. please. Okay, so this is how value created in art. So you get, so you say you get a, a collage of local artists, mm-hmm. and then you as a business owner, you go in and you say, okay, um, these art, so this art is valued at, you know, just say initial valuation of $50,000. All right, now you're going to get, you're going to start building this artist up in your network, start talking about him, having a podcast. Boom, boom, boom. Snoop Dogg did an interesting thing. He had a video um, where he had a whole bunch of artists, a whole bunch of their art, and he was naming the artists on it. He's creating value for that artist. Yeah. So now... Make NFTs with that. Exactly. So now that art, okay, so now this happens for a year, year and a half. Now you come, you get the value, you get the value of the artist assessed again. Now it's assessed at one point three, four, five million dollars. Oh all right, so now you take that. So now you take that new appraised value of that art. You go donate it to a museum, mm-hmm. and now you get to write that off as a tax write off mm-hmm. for the full valuation of that new created value of that art. Get out of here! Mm-hmm. So that's how you do it under the tax break. Yo, so that that's how it reads. Crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah. I have to write that. So remember that line in Jay Z mm-hmm. when he said, "I bought this art first. It was one million. Mm-hmm. Next year it was worth three million. Yeah. Right. Now it's worth eight million. Can't wait to get it to my children. Right. That's right. what he's talking about. Right. right. And so. Got it. <laughs> yep. So just like art, though, but think about it. Land, what it does over the time. The same thing. Appreciates. Same thing. It appreciates. There you go. If I it can. can't depreciate. <laughs> no. I mean, unless some kind of catastrophic natural disaster, some <laughs> some kind of toxic. Oh, it's like a marshland or something right. like yeah, that. Like, like no, marshland is actually valuable. Yes. Depending oh, on it? which, yes. Yeah. I know here, like, there used to be houses right by, right by the boulevard. Right. And they tore them all down because they were basically sinking. Right. And they haven't built anything on that land in I don't know how many years. And they won't. And they won't. Right. So that land is just sitting there. So I don't know like what they can, well, who can do some, something with that land. It probably can be used some kind of way to somebody. <laughs> yeah, but mm-hmm. no one's done anything with it for like over 20 years. Yeah. It's been well, a very long time. It's, so. it's rare that land depreciates. Investment. No, well, it, I guess I wanted to say is that, um, you know, everyone, and, and you are correct, yes, mm-hmm. cash, the $20 in cash, but 
what happens like what we're dealing with now, which I'm glad in a way this is happening because it can bring awareness. What happens when $20 bought you two gallons of gas and now $20 buys you one gallon of gas mm-hmm. because now we're going through everything's more expensive. Well, conversely, let's say you planted one kernel corn or one germ of wheat mm-hmm. on that property. Mm-hmm. The germ of wheat can give you 10 other germs of wheat through the seeding. Now you can grow bread. Well, how much does bread cost? Mm. A lot. Right. So now you're selling wheat as a grain Mm -hmm. on the land, and all you need is the seed to grow. Mm. So now that land you bought at $10,000, $15,000, you now can use that same property to grow a product that is now increasing. Bread's Mm -hmm. what, $6 for a loaf, seven, you know, whatever it is now. You now can use that one little piece of an area. You don't need much, maybe about as long as this table. Mm hmm to grow grain to sell. Mm-hmm. That's all you need. And you do you you can you can go right to a local and say, hey, I'm gonna grow grain, I'll sell it to you right here for at a manufacturer that manufactures grain. A local farmer. You don't need to be a big farmer to do that. Conversely with the marsh. Well if we were in Florida, you can go ahead and say, well look, I'll allow people to hunt on my marsh because water brings animals, prey. So now you're saying that I can create monthly or weekly revenue instead of Airbnb, a place I have to take liability and insurance on, I now can say, look, you sign this waiver, you go hunt on my land. Right. Mm-hmm. You go hunt ducks on my land, on my marsh. No liability to me, you sign yeah. this waiver. You're waving off that if you shoot yourself in the foot, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's on you, you. Yeah. and leave the ducks behind, get yeah. to the hospital, yeah. that's all that matters. <laughs> but this is where land, again, they don't know what to do on it, but we're always thinking, bi- building a brick but again people use land for all the times i mean there are there are species even if it's conserved land let's say you can't build on land at all so what about offering that to a university to say hey i'll allow you all to study teach students on this Mm -hmm. conservation area for these species and you all can lease that land out to use for 100 years for x amount of dollars now you're negotiating see i've always just for whatever reason, it's always been land, build something, right. land, build something. That's right. always a concept. That's all you ever see. Right. Is people buy land, oh, my land's talking about build a house on it. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. No one ever talks about any of that stuff. Oh, no. So it's yeah. like, my wheels are turning. Right. Like, oh, I need to A hundred years. A well, hundred yeah, years. Like, you're talking about, you now have to, the only, now what you got to do is make sure no one messes the bag up. Now. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. You're like, That's listen, your main objective. I got grandkids. Like, don't mess up the bag. <laughs> right. That's all you tell them. Look, we got a hundred years on this. I'm about to go out. Yeah. I'm about 87. I'm about to clock out of here. <laughs> don't you mess this up. Yeah, that will come back. You got one job. <laughs> one job. And that's to keep on making sure this check comes in. Yeah. Right. Now, that one deal, just this one deal, can mean that grandchildren who may not even know you're here, mm-hmm. but now probably do because you just created a legacy factor. Right. That my great grandparents, the entrepreneurians, that's who we are, we're that, and now we're carrying on that. Now you're expanding on 100 year lease deals. Now you're going around looking for these kind of things. Yeah. Brain. Yeah. Brain right so now. it's that's just crazy. That the one little thing power of land ownership. And that's what I would tell us that when people buy land from me and they come to me with these different ideas, I don't just sell it. I try to make sure that they're set up with some base knowledge and saying, hey, here's what you can do on the land. Here's some ideas like this. This is what I do with all my clients. That's mm-hmm. awesome. I give them the surveyor. I give them all these lists of connections to say, hey, here's a network. What I would what I where my shortcoming is or my end goal of what I want to do is create a nice network of resources where I can say, here's your builder, Mm -hmm. here's your electric guy, here's your plumbing guy, here's this, here's that. Some of my clients are actually into construction and I'm like, listen, I'm going to pass all my clients through you because you'll know what they need. So now, again, now we're talking about, okay, well, look, we need our kids to be construction people. We need you to go into these trades now Mm -hmm. to keep the money circulating within a community. So now we're going community driving down at a deeper level. Yeah. So now Mm -hmm. once you establish a business, now you may have entrepreneurians plumbing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So now you have these, your children now plumbers and then the whole, they service a whole city. Yeah. Because we build up years and years and years. You have multiple clients who are in this area and they know Entrepreneurians got us. Who do you need? Entrepreneur, go 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 to the Entrepreneurian plumbers. They got you. You go to Nubians plumbers. They got you right there. That's who handles this. They put this in. They're a third generation business, like we saw at Melanin Market. Mm. They're a third generation business. They've been doing this for fifty years on our properties. We don't use anybody else. So now, 
now we got the we got the real estate down. Now we're controlling the economic market. Now we're controlling trade. So when you go to again talk about power, when you you talk about something that community needs, people now are saying, "Wow, they have all these properties they own in this community. They got the trade down. We can't get we can't get into that area without going through someone. Mm -hmm. Who do we talk to? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, entrepreneurs, here you guys go. We got to talk to you. If you don't like the deal, if the number's not right and it doesn't work for the people that you represent." then they got to go back and figure something else out. You can, you have the power to say no. We are always saying, can you help? Can you give? Mm -hmm. But when now we, when you have the power to say no, you're now calling a shot. Now people got to, they got to come and now try to say, what can we do to make you happy? What can we do to get access? Mm -hmm. And that, that's what it, that's what it's about. That's the resource of what we're offering with land is trying to build up everyone buying this one area, get all of this traffic, get this area and we hold this down. Now we start building up trade. We start building up, you, you got chicken, sell eggs. Mm -hmm. How much are eggs now? <laughs> sell them five, a dollar too cheaper. Yeah. Right. Then what they do at the market now. Mm -hmm. Now you're the local egg lady. All mm -hmm. you got to do is get chickens. What if I grow chickens? Hey, give me free eggs. I'll give you a chicken every time you got one that dies. So now <laughs> we have our own market here. Yeah. We don't need Acme. We don't need ShopRite or Acme anymore. Mm -hmm. Now it's between us. Yeah. So we cut them out because now we control our own produce. And right. we can do this on small levels. They do this all the time within Hispanic communities. Yeah. You see the people out on the cart selling food. Asian where they, yeah, Asian, they have their own diet. And that goes to the greater argument of where do our, our how much circulates back within our community. And mm -hmm. it said that the circulation of money, I would say circulation of resources, mm -hmm. is less than six hours. Mm -hmm. Whereas it's 24 hours for maybe Hispanic. A week or longer within the Caucasian community. Oh, yeah. But we don't have that. So land gives you an opportunity to say, I do eggs with you, you do chickens with me. I do, you do wheat with her, and you supply wheat, you get eggs, and then I give chickens. So now we're all covered. This doesn't cost us anything but the cost of what it is to maintain the good. Yeah. So, and then who do you know that has other chickens? Well, I got a guy over here. If I give him eggs, he'll give me three other chickens that you like. Go ahead and raise them. Mm -hmm. Then you go ahead and have the chickens come over and fertilize <laughs> the soil for you. <laughs> now you're growing wheat. See, this is yeah. a this is a conversation a whole, between landowners. Yeah. Exactly. And then you have manufacturers coming, well, hey, you know, how about we can come in here and offer you guys some now you're going in there and saying, Well, maybe we should just open up our own manufacturing place to run this now. Yeah. Call it Nubian Farms. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> so again, this is just this is just off of That's one a plot whole of land we're talking about. Right? Contained yeah. Right. Yeah. structure. It's, yeah. It's so, yeah. Oh my god. And now you got a mayor, local officials coming and saying, We gotta talk to these people and figure out can we get their votes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're saying well look we're not going to give you our votes because you're not speaking to what we need now, they got to sit at the table because these are your now we have the trade now we have the produce now we have the real estate so now we're controlling jobs we control the job market we control our real estate market these markets that are fluctuating we have the ability to insulate ourselves from what is going on in the world whether they want to start a war create a war whatever what a war we now are controlling our own markets and saying no matter what happens in the world we got it covered and that's what used to be there yeah the black wall street they're talking about that but again it, black wall street is not a place that you go and sell goods at black wall street was a location real estate right. that was mm -hmm. taken yeah. right. because business trade economic community produce was all there mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to offer again and we're saying we may not start it in california city but we need to be able to use the value of the market the migration those demand mm -hmm. the supply and demand we need to make sure we can build value or wealth off that demand going back to your cash conversation mm -hmm. now we have the capital mm -hmm. to be able to start our loan markets in every other community that we actually live in mm -hmm. right. but you're not going to do that in a place the same place you live most people who own land don't own land where they reside they own land on an island on the beach. Rick Ross bought a hundred and so. Uh, Kanye owns 120 acres out in Wisco uh, Wyoming. Wyoming, right? Mm -hmm. But he lives in Calabasas, mm -hmm. or I don't know if he lives there now with Kim. But well, yeah, any which way, yeah, he lives. He been on the ranch for a while. Right, but yeah. you know, again, he has the ability to relocate to go mm -hmm. somewhere else. You get locked down. Well, you go to your five acres with your horses, and you have your own modes of transportation. Mm -hmm. Now you're trading eggs for gasoline. Yeah. Well, your family needs eggs. 
here you go. How about a tank of gas? Mm -hmm. What do you have that economic? Now you don't have to trade cash. Right. You trade your own goods. Good. Yeah. Or you say, hey, come farm on my you land. Mm -hmm. Farm on my land. And you don't need the cash, but I'll, I'll trade you for a service that you offer. Right. Or a plumber. Hey, we grow eggs. I'll give you eggs free for the next four months. You make sure that I don't have a light bulb that doesn't go out. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm. Yo, y'all should do your own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't, like <laughs> don't get a podcast. Oh, I'm trying to tell you. Oh, hey, you got a YouTube channel? Yes. Oh, you need a podcast. Wow. You need a, a YouTube podcast. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. Come on, man. Well, let's guest up here a couple yeah. more times and get you guys some volume. Yeah, until so y'all get a podcast, yeah, come get this shit coming on here. <laughs> let's, let's build up a rent. Let's yeah. get a lot to the community. So we're going to come back, y'all, with some tips, tricks, and resources. I felt like we just got tips, tricks, and resources <laughs> just nice. now. Like, but that was only the ninja business oh, segment. Wow. So we coming right back, y'all. Stay mm -hmm. locked in. And yeah. Ancestry lands. Oh, my God. <laughs>